want to talk about managing retirement plan uh, deductions in QuickBooks today. Uh, what prompted this, uh, you may have a retirement plan of your own, but California is requiring it for uh, employers with more than 50 employees this year and next year in 2022. That will drop to five employees. So more people are going to be interested in how do we set that up in QuickBooks. This isn't a video about the California plan and requirements. You can find those on the EDD website. But um, uh, this is all you're going to need to know about how to, once your plan is in place, how are you going to accomplish that in QuickBooks? How are you going to deduct that on those employee paychecks? So I'm going to go to the payroll item list. I can get that from the list drop-down menu. I can also get it from the employees drop-down menu either way. So payroll item list. And then from the uh, payroll button down here, I'm going to select new because I want a new payroll item. I'm going to choose custom setup because it gives me more control over uh, over the parameters that we will set up. I'm going to click on next. So what kind of payroll item is this? Well, this is a deduction, right? This is going to reduce their wages. A certain amount of money is going to be withheld and sent to a retirement plan administrator. So that's the selection I want to make. I'll click next. What do we want to name it? Let's call it um, retirement plan. It's a pretty generic name. I probably wouldn't use that in a real life situation but it could be an IRA, it could be a 401k, whatever it is, I might use that in the name. But for our purposes today to try to keep this really generic, I'm just going to put retirement plan. Okay, so uh, some of these fields in this particular screen are uh, optional, but they will really help when you go to create the check to the retirement plan administrator. So in order to save the effort of um, creating a new vendor, which I could do right at this point. I'm just going to use the Sargent uh, Insurance um, as our retirement plan administrator. And then I'm just going to put a number in there. Again, the number is optional, but it will be, um, it will be useful to you and it will make creating the check for the plan administrator easier. By default, QuickBooks always wants to use payroll liabilities for the liability account. You can leave that if you want. I would often myself create a new account here that would be um, uh, IRA retirement plan payable, IRA pay 401k payable, something like that. It would be a liability type of account. So feel free to do that, and that would often be my strategy. But again trying to keep this simple, I'm just going to leave that set at payroll liabilities. Okay, now here's the important one. You want to be sure that you get this one, this setting, correct. And if you have any doubts, it's best to get some input from someone who knows your accountant, the plan administrator, somebody to help you with this, because the tax tracking type is going to determine how payroll taxes apply to this particular, you know, is it pre-tax, is it after tax? It's going to affect how all your payroll forms are printed out at the end of each quarter. What line will those funds go on if they're reported at all? It's going to affect how W-2s come out at the end of the year. So a mistake here, I don't mean to scare you, but we're going to look at this in just a minute, how to get it right. But a mistake here is is going to cause you some grief uh, later on. And so it's best just to take a few minutes and get the right answer. So QuickBooks has a whole list of um, tax tracking types that, that we could use. And uh, the CalSavers plan mentions Roth IRA, but of course you could have a different plan. It would not have to be a Roth. We could, we had a number of things that, um, that we could pick here. So let's look down this list and let's just, for the sake of example, we're gonna pick a simple IRA. 
that's not going to work for all of you. You're not going to have a simple IRA plan. Some of you are going to have something else, but that's fine. Just choose the 401k, the Roth IRA, whatever is on that list. Choose what will correspond to the plan that you have. Okay, simple IRA. I'm going to click next. I just breeze right through this window. The settings in this particular window reflect the tax tracking type that you just picked. I've never seen a case where anything in this window needs to be changed. And I've been working with QuickBooks for over 21 years now, so uh, long time. Okay, it's not based on any quantity, right? I mean, it doesn't matter how many hours they work. It doesn't, you know, there's no quantity that affects how much is going to be withheld. Is there a default rate and limit? Now, there could be, if this was going to be the same for everyone, you would put a default rate and limit here. Now, that's often not the case. It's an optional thing. People opt in. And they usually have a choice as far as how much of their wages they want deducted. So probably there's not going to be a default rate and limit here. But if there were, I could set that as either a dollar amount or a percentage. And now that I'm finished, there we go. Retirement plan is now on the payroll item list. So let's go to the employee. Little error message here because my internet's weak. Um, down in the basement today. So here's our list of employees. Okay, let's let's pick Greg Snyder. I'm gonna double click on him, bring up his uh, edit window. I'm gonna go to payroll info. So if I wanted to add the retirement plan for Greg, I would add it right here. Retirement plan. And so there's no rate here because we didn't set a default rate, right? So what's what's Greg's rate? Well, let's let's say he's opting for um, 3% of his wages to be uh, deducted for a retirement plan. Great. And there's no annual limit. It's just going to be 3% every paycheck. And once that is set, I'm going to click OK. Obviously, I had several employees and several of them wanted to participate. I'm going to have to do that for each one, right? Now let's create a paycheck. select Greg. I'm going to open this up so we can look at the paycheck detail. We've got 80 hours up here. So that gives him a check. 1380 is the gross wages, health insurance. There's his retirement plan right there, $41.40. And so that's going to deduct from his paycheck. Save and close. Continue. These um, at this particular screen, we have gross wages, we have taxes that were deducted, other deductions that were deducted. That's his health insurance and the retirement plan that we just set up. And then he has a net check here. So let's create that paycheck. And there we go. I don't have a printer hooked up, so I'm not going to print it. But the paycheck is created in the system. Now, the next thing I want to show you is paying those retirement amounts. Um, nothing, let's switch over to pay liabilities, nothing is showing here because unfortunately there is more setup in order to get that amount showing in this window. Now, I could go to create custom payments and I think, yeah, I think I may have, um, used a different date. So hold on. Let's move that out to December. And there we go. So there's the retirement plan. There's the 4140. I could pay it here. Most of us don't want to do that because having everything listed here is, is really nice. So here's how to set that up. 
Okay, so to set up that liability so that it will show in this list, along with all of our other liabilities, we, um, we have to go to this link right here. This is Manage Payment Methods. That starts the, uh, the payroll setup program. It's going to give us just a small portion of it there. There we go. So uh, tax payments is the step we're on. We could schedule tax payments. We've already done that. Our tax payments already show in that window. So how about benefit and other payments? Well, let's schedule those. And here they are. Here's the retirement plan that we set up. And you can see here it says no regular payments scheduled. So let's highlight retirement plan. Let's click on edit. And then from here, we just we have a choice. And it seldom do payroll schedules and due dates for uh, planned payments like insurance or retirement or anything else really match up that cleanly. And so I'm really not all that concerned about setting up exactly the right uh, deadline or, or, or um, due date at this step for something like insurance or retirement plan. I'm just going to leave it set weekly. Anytime there's a liability, anytime I create paychecks and there's a liability for a, uh, a certain benefit like the insurance or the retirement plan, then it's going to show up in that window. So if I click on finish there and finish here, I'll show you what I mean. So now there it is. So we, we paid Greg that paycheck. It deducted $41.40 for the retirement plan. That's what QuickBooks is telling us to, um, to pay right here. And so just like I do taxes, I can put a check mark there. I can click view pay. Now, let me pull that down from the other monitor here. There we go. So you can see, and this is where I was telling you that uh, things like the, um, um, the plan number and the vendor and so on would be helpful because uh, now you have a vendor, you know, in order to, uh, to pay that liability to. And that's it. You know, it's uh, set to be printed. I can save and close that check, and then I can, um, you know, I can put it in the mail if I'm still doing that. If it's paid electronically, I still need to create the check in QuickBooks. There's in QuickBooks a check form with, uh, will will uh, record either an electronic check or paper check. So I'm still going to re record the check in the same way. So I hope that was helpful. That's uh, pretty much from beginning to end how to set up the retirement plan deduction from the paycheck, and then how to pay it. Thanks for watching.